the Kai River Pond was one of only two active vehicle ponds in South Africa for many years. Only recently a new pond has been introduced over the Orange River into Namibia at Sendlingsdrift in the Richtersveld. There can be no doubt that a trip over a big river on a vehicle pond is a tourist attraction of note. The Kai River Pond covers the widest stretch of river of the three, the other being the pond at Malchas on the Breda River in the Western Cape, which was the last pond to be hand-drawn, but in 2020 this last named one too will become motorized. We filmed this video from east to west. The tar road is fairly new on the eastern side, but do be careful of cattle on the road and the very sharp S-bend as the road descends from the hilltop down towards sea level. As the S-bend straightens out at 90 degrees to the Kai River, the tar gives way to paving bricks and a long straight section of 350 meters delivers you at the pond landing stage. The road at this point is just a few centimeters above the floodplain of the river so when the river comes down in flood, this road will be underwater and the pond will not be operational. Proceed to the holding point at the riverside and wait for the pond, which is based on the western side, but they'll be watching you, so sit back and relax for a few minutes. You won't have long to wait, and soon the pond will arrive with a cargo of a single vehicle, a few pedestrians and a cyclist or two. The ferry is operated by just two people and the assistant will collect the fee which was 90 rand per vehicle in February 2020. Please make sure that you get a receipt. Once any vehicles and passengers have completed their disembarking, you can drive on, switch off your engine and enjoy the fresh ocean air as the ferry takes about four minutes to complete the crossing. The Great Kai River is formed by the confluence of the Black Kai and the White Kai River northeast of Cathcart. It flows for 320 kilometers and ends in the Great Kai Estuary at the Indian Ocean next to the small town of Kai Mouth on the western bank. Historically, the Great Kai River formed the southwestern border of the Transkai region and was formerly known as the Nkiba River. The Kai River's longest tributary is the Tsomo River in the north. The name has its origins as far back as 1752 and is based on a Khoisan word which means sand. The estuaries from the Great Kai River to southern Mozambique are classified as subtropical. These systems are characterized by warm waters of more than 16 degrees Celsius. The climate is warm and humid almost year-round as a result. Minimum winter temperatures range from 12 to 14 degrees Celsius and the area receives rainfall throughout the year. The inland sections of the Great Kai River flow through Albany thickets and forest biomes terminating in Indian Ocean coastal thicket at its mouth. The Kai River mouth hosts the southernmost naturally occurring mangrove forests in southern Africa. Swamp forests occur north of the Mgazana River estuary and salt marshes are found south of the Great Kai. The river mouth is popular with anglers due to its variety of estuarine fish species. However, some species such as the South African cob and white stenbrus are critically endangered. Many coastal bird species are found in the area, such as the near-threatened African oyster catcher, sandpipers and kingfishers. Attempts to build a bridge over the Kai River started in 1877, when building materials were shipped into East London from Britain by ox wagon and rail. Work on the bridge was interrupted multiple times due to conflicts in the area, including the Ninth Frontier War, where Nui and his team were forced to retreat to the Royal Hotel in Komcha as the Kosa warriors began crossing the Kai for battle. At the end of the conflicts, the bridge was completed and is still in use today by locals and farmers. Once the ferry reaches the western bank, you'll be required to reverse off from where you can proceed to the village of Kaimouth.